I usually avoid sad books, like The Plague. I'm a fairly sensitive person so, I try to read things that won't devastate me, and I despise authors that use difficult situations to either sell a story of manipulate the reader. However, I'm a huge huge fan of project books, and I love reading, so I figured I'd give the end of your life book club a try and stop reading, if it got to be too much. I honestly couldn't put it down, it's a really wonderful book. The backstory is this, Will Schwalbe's mom, Mary, is diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, which, as the doctor says, is treatable but not curable. Will vows to be as supportive to his mom as he can. But Mary isn't your typical middle-aged woman, this is a woman who has been on the front lines of some of the most volatile areas on the earth, championing human rights, education, and literacy. She's also a sort of buttoned-up and reserved soul, not one to expound much on her feelings or emotions. She faces her illness with sort of a brisk honesty. Will realizes that the best way he can support his mom, engage her, and open up the lines of communication is to share in one of Mary's passions, books. Will is a editor at a major publishing company, so he's quite a fan of books, as well. So he and Mary begin sharing books, and every time the two see each other, they discuss the books they read. In the process, Mary begins to reveal more and more about not only her vast experiences, but also her emotions and her fears. I've read quite a few book project books, and many of them come across as an giant compile cliffs notes of books that are read. Will Schwalbe handles the descriptions of the books wonderfully. He gives a brief description of the book, but instead of delving into the ins and outs of the books, he discusses why the particular book was relevant to both himself and his mom. So while this book is about books, it's really the story of Mary's life, Will's observations of his mother, and also the story of a mother and son sort of recommitting to their relationship through a shared passion. I wish I could articulate just how wonderful this book is. It's just lovely. Yes, there is some sadness, but it's not drawn out or used for narrative kick. It's just honest and pure, and the story comes from the heart without being trite or sentimental. I highly recommend it. It's easily one of the best books I've read in a long, long time.